We're here with the general manager of the New York Yankees, Brian Cashman. A busy day, Brian. Uh, congrats, first off, on the Stanton deal. You, uh, tell us how it kind of came together. Obviously, it came together quickly after a couple other teams kind of bowed out. Could you give us some more detail on that? Yeah, essentially, you know, we stuck our toe in the water back at the GM meetings. Uh, wasn't certain that we could finish uh, you know, the sweepstakes on Otani. So right. obviously once Otani declared himself as not coming this way, you know, it created a, a more of a lane, although a more expensive lane. Right. So uh, we reengaged, and uh, without much luck, uh, obviously uh, you know, the Marlins had targeted uh, two franchises or they, were, or they had deals they put in place with the Giants and, and the Cardinals. So we stayed engaged in the process, but, but I think on Wednesday I, I was like, we're out, I'll see you at the winter meetings. Right. It wasn't going to work out, but then Michael Hill re-engaged me on Thursday uh, with some more dialogue that I was like, wow, this has a chance to happen. By Thursday night, close to midnight, we agreed on a deal. And then we went into dot and I's and crosses T's on Friday and physical on Saturday in Tampa, and we're here today. Now, now that you, he's here, you had a chance to talk to him. Give us your first impression of him as a, as, a, as a guy. We know what he is as a player. Seems like a great guy. I mean, all our reconnaissance on him was that, you know, he, he's a tremendous person. Uh, it's part of the package, uh, not just the big bat in, in the lineup, but, uh, but how, is, how is he in, with his teammates and, you know, how, what kind of competitor is he, despite, you know, we know the answer to that question when you saw what he did last year. So, um, you know, he checked every box. Uh, it was just, a, you know, would my ownership be willing to play on it despite the contract length and stuff and and we we're able to work through that with ownership thankfully and I uh, send bouquets to the Steinbrenner family for that and then um, and then obviously work through with the Marlins so hopefully everybody got what they wanted. Now I know you've talked before about still trying to stay under the luxury tax how does this impact obviously you've done a lot of heavy lifting to get to this point and had some flexibility. Yeah we're under still and uh, that's the goal and that's the intent uh, it certainly eats away at that uh, you know, so that cushion is 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 less cushiony, so so to speak. But right. uh, but you know, that's still our intent and goal, and uh, and hopefully we can do everything we need to do, including win. Uh, you know, and and accomplish that at the same time. How about starting pitching side? Still a priority for you? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we have a vacancy left by CC. He's a free agent. We've engaged CC and his agent. Um, obviously, there's trade partners. There's other free agents, and and it's a need. I mean, it's def. You know, I think every team. It's easy to say, always constantly needing to reinforce our pitching. I'm not sure if anybody feels comfortable on that side of it. So, um, you know, our offense is we're real proud about the defense. I think we have a great pitching staff, but we need to make it better. Uh, rip, uh, reports are there's a deal in place for you to stay on board for another five years. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I had told Hal Steinbrenner, you know, in the process that I had really had no interest in going anywhere else. If they wanted me, I'm going to be here and. And uh, we were able to work through some stuff, and you know, we're, it's a it's a great time to be here. I'm not sure I, why anybody would not want to be here, right, especially right. with the young talent we have and the great uh, personnel the Steinbrenner family allows uh, me to surround myself with. You know, they let me hire people smarter than me, so uh, so it's it's good times right now. Speaking speaking of hiring, I wanted to get one more on you with with Aaron Boone. Now, I mean, you've known him for a while. You see him, you know, interact. I mean, that conversation. You start to that, get that process even before the winter meetings, but now that he's here and you got everybody in place, what's that been like? He's demanding as hell. I mean, he demanded <laughs> us get Stanton there a week, within a week on the job, pounding the fist on the table like, you better get this done. You know, wow. That sounds like Aaron, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, listen, he's, a, you know, he's an impressive baseball guy and comes from a great family and uh, family history in this game. And, and uh, you know, we think he has a lot to add for us, and, and uh, I think he has an extremely – attractive skill set that will benefit this current team and and i'm thankful that uh, he said yes to our offer appreciate the time brian thanks Thank again you.